Today we get a first look at Konami's quarter century rarity. What's up guys, we're back with another OCG opening. If you don't know what that is, that is a Japanese opening. And why this is exciting is, this is Rarity Collection Quarter Century Edition. If you're excited about the 25th anniversary coming up in just a month, inside of these boxes is the special new rarity that we'll be getting in that 25th anniversary product. I've never seen it in person, so usually OCG stuff like tends to have like a guaranteed one. So I think we're actually gonna get to see it per box. Two different box openings, so I'm really excited to see what's inside, what the rarity looks like. We're gonna judge how we feel about it. I'm pretty excited for that. But first, our giveaway. I'll be giving away all the pulls that we get from these two boxes. So the quarter century cards, we're getting, you're giving those away. All that stuff. Simply like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications. Let me know what you think about the 25th century rarity, quarter century rarity, whatever it's called. Hopefully, we get to see some in this video. These boxes were sent to me by Yugi Market, which is an awesome place to grab OCG products because it can be kind of hard to find OCG stuff like that's not just like on eBay for a really high price. So if you want to check out Yugi Market, I'll have their link down in the description. And thanks a lot for sending me these so we could do this awesome video. They also sent me some of these uh, really awesome sleeves that I think I'm going to be using for my own deck. I think that's pretty cool. Check out. Let's just check them out. They look really cool. Hey. Have you checked the community tab? On March 4th, I'm cutting off all giveaway claims because I'm getting overrun by giveaways. So make sure you claim it by March 4th or you will not be able to win your giveaway. So go to my YouTube channel, scroll over to the community tab, scroll down to all the different winners. You can control F, search your name if that helps because it might help you find it. And scroll all the way for the past two, three years, see if you want anything because I'm getting overrun by extra giveaways that have not been claimed. If you don't claim it by March 4th, I'm officially taking it back for more giveaways and stuff like that. So I'm giving you guys about a week and a half to claim all of these so that I can clear out my area. <laughs> they seem pretty nice. 25th, I mean, they look great. I mean, that's for sure. Okay, they, they feel all right. They're not like crazy quality, but they don't feel terrible. So I might try those out in a deck. Pretty cool. All right, let's just go ahead and crack into these. I'm excited to see what is in this quarter century rarity edition. Cinchy. Quarter century. <laughs> Here we go. Let's go. The Sinchi. 15 packs per box. We have 30 pack opening today. I think, I don't know how many cards are per box, but we're about to find out, I guess. I'm not going to sh shuffle them up. I'm just going to go with it as is. I don't think they're going to be in order, but we'll see. Usually they have like a pull tab on these kind of things. The way I usually do it is open them from the bottom because there's not the long crimp. So we can just kind of go through it like a normal pack opening. Very quality plastic when it comes to OCG. We know they get all the quality stuff. That's just classic. At least we're getting some of the rarities these days. First off, we have that appears to be a link monster that I don't know the name. We have, oh, there it is. Lava Golem. I definitely know this one. Old school, Pharaonic Guardian. Pretty strong in like the meta these days. You know, you can just like completely summon over people to like, a kaiju. Ancient Fairy Dragon that must have the errata on it. Wait, this is a dumb question, but shouldn't er does errata go for like OCG and TCG or just TCG? I'm not sure because they're different formats. I actually don't know that. Oh, Artifact Lancey. Only four cards per pack, it seems. So, oh, I spit all over this card. Whoops, getting a little too excited here, guys. Artifact Lancia Prismatic Secret Rare, like the Megatons that we have. That is beautiful. Okay, very cool start. So the rarities, we didn't actually go through this. All the different rarities in here we can pull. Let's just check out the front of this box. So we have Holographic Rare, obviously. That's normal. Quarter Century Secret Rare, that's what we're looking for. Extra Secret Rare, don't exactly know what that means that's another name for another one i think ultimate rare ultra rare super rare secret rare collector rare. there's literally one two three four five six seven eight rarities in here that is absurd that is exciting i mean i wish they do that in the tcg let me know would you guys want to see that where it's like we open a pack and there's like eight different rarities you could pull i think that'd be pretty awesome the only difference i would say is make them or you don't get one every box like uh in the tcg it's like you could get eight rarities but you might only pull three of them you know it's like something like that so you never know you might get a ghost an ulti a collector or you just have no idea what's coming I think that would be really exciting and really fun. And then you could do like different rarities of the same cards, like in the same set. There's a Compulse right off the bat. Nice, super rare. We have a Junk something, Speed Junk Roid. I don't know. Oh, whoa. Is that an Ultimate Rare Dogmatic, a Punishment? And then a Lightning Storm, Prismatic Secret Rare in the same pack. Wow, that is a huge pack. So this is an ultimate rare. This is like the new style ultimate rare that they have in the OCG. We don't actually have this in the TCG, but it looks super clean. I would be okay if we brought this over to the TCG. Dogmatic of Punishment, beautiful looking card. Wow, we are pulling fire already. And then Lightning Storm, Prismatic Secret's awesome as well. Prismatic Secret might be what they call extra secret. That might be it. Okay, good start. We've already got an ultimate rare. We've got, of course, Prismatic Secret, super rares. Can we get collector? The collector rares in the OCG look amazing. If you guys haven't seen my OCG openings, 
recently, go check out the playlist. I have a whole OCG opening playlist. We pulled some really beautiful collector rares last time. We have Lone Fire Blossom, Fossil Dig. I'm getting good. I know all these cards. Oh, what is this guy? Inspector Border. There we go. And then a Artemis, the Magistus Moon Maiden. That is a nice one for invoked players. That's me. All right. I'm not going to lie. These cards are fire so far. I, I'm hyped. I, OCG, I used to not care about it as much. And now I'm like, I kind of like it. You know, I just like it's different. It's fun. I can't open this thing. OK, there we go. Yeah, yeah. It's just it's a little bit different. It's, it's definitely fun. You can see all these cool rarities like they have different rarities. They have updated rarities that we don't have, like the ultimate rares are different. That's a striker dragon, super rare artifact Lancia. So another cool thing is like they can be super rares. They can be extra secrets. They can be ultimates like this card could be any rarity, which is really, really awesome. Uh, forbidden Droplet. That's just wait. What is that? An ultra rare? Yeah, okay, they do have ultras. So ultras are not guaranteed. And then a Dark Law. Wow, that is a beautiful card. Wow. And the crazy part is like, there's so many versions of all these cards and they're still not really worth anything, which is crazy. But honestly, if you're trying to like afford the game and have beautiful cardboard, it's kind of nice because you don't have to spend so much money. So it's definitely a big difference for the TCG where some of the big, you know, rarities can go for a lot of money. All right, this is the number 100, I think. Is it, it might be Numeron. I can't remember. Uh, Artemis, of course. We have the Nightmare... If I was gonna say Phoenix, is it no? Nightmare Phoenix, Nightmare Pegasus. Is it no? What is it? Is it Pegasus? Phoenix is the link two. This is the link three. And then oh, Spellbook of Judgment. Okay, big time card. That just came off the ban list, right? Uh yeah, wow. That is uh Nightmare. I should know this. I play it in my deck. I think it's Nightmare Pegasus. I can't remember. All right, let's keep going. I'm taking my time on these, but we got 30 packs to open, so it might end up being a longer video unintentionally. I'm just having fun with these so far. So far, we have not pulled the quarter century. I'm really excited for that. Might have gotten a little glimpse of something. We might have gotten some here. There's a trap card. I don't know what that one was. That's, of course, the uh, tour guide, the underworld. Collector rare. Slime guy. What's his name? The, uh, the Egyptian god slime. Whoa. And then... Dimensional shifter or whatever he's called. Yeah, great. I know everybody hates that card. Check out the OCG collector. Why do ours not look like this? Oh, it's so nice. That is beautiful, man. Wow, that is nice. Woo, man, and just one box. You buy one box of this, you get all these crazy rarities, these awesome cards. So cool. Wow, that is just, that's nice. That's exciting. Okay, we're still looking for the quarter. I thought it was the quarter century at first when I saw it. There's another Egyptian God Slime in the super rare. And the cool part is you get the high rarity stuff. And then if you just want to play it, you can get the super rare. It's probably way cheaper. We've got the, uh, what is this guy's name? Dark Ruler No More. There we go. Oh, Chaos Space Ultra Rare. <gasps> no, this is the extra secret rare. This is it. The extra secret. Wait, is this? Schism? Is this El Shadal Schism? I can't remember. I should know this. Or Shadal Schism, I should say. Wow. Yeah, that's the extra secret rare. That is beautiful. Oh, yeah, because they just call Prismatic Secrets just secret rares. That's what they call them. Okay. So extra secret rare there. Nice bowl. Uh, are we getting a 25th anniversary? I don't know. Are they guaranteed or not? So far, we've pulled everything else. We pulled Collector Rare. We pulled... Have we pulled everything else? Ultimate Rare, Ultra Rare, Super Rare, Secret Rare. Yeah, we've literally pulled everything else. It's up to the quarter century. There's another um, Selene. Ooh, the Boral of Savage Dragon. We've got another Dimensional Shifter. Okay, and then a uh, Summon Limit. All right, Summon Limit. Cool card. Seemed the, all the all the big ones are at the front. Interesting. Yeah, are they like in order or something? I doubt it, but it's possible. Alpha the Master Beast. Cool. We've got a Dimensional Barrier, I think. We have, oh, another Collector Rare. A Luna Collector Rare. And then a Boral Load Savage. That's a beautiful Secret Rare. Wow, look at that. There's some, like, so you could have, like, any card in Collector Rare. That is so cool. That Collector Rare looks so much better than ours. It's not even funny. It's it's embarrassing, honestly, how bad ours look compared to that. Uh, if ours looked like that, I would love Collector Rares. Okay, we have a uh, Red Eyes Flare Metal. We have Iris Sword Soul. Is that another? Oh, it's another Ultimate Rare. And then a Downturn Magician. So the Ultimate Rare, this is the field spell for Dark Magician. It's called Magician Salvation, I believe. That's actually a really nice card for Dark Magician. And that's a beautiful rarity. Wow. There's so many nice cards. Like every single pack has a fire card in it. This is so cool. Wow. This set has so many cool cards. All right. Pot of uh, Avarice, I believe. Yeah. No, not Avarice. Pot of Desires. Duh. Okay. Harvey's Feather Storm. A Call by the Grave. Oh! Is this it? The 25th! We got the 25th rarity! The starlight looking rare. So basically it looks like a starlight. Except I don't know if is the name different? I think they might be different. Uh the 25th rarity is down there. So basically it looks like a starlight. You have a, a stamp of the 25th, and then 
The name might be different. Wait, let me look at a starlight real quick. Yeah, so in this starlight, you get like a silvery name. This one, you get a gold. So I guess you're going to get a gold name and a stamp. That's really the difference between this and a starlight rare. All right, so we do get one every box. Well, maybe we just got lucky, but I think we get one. So downer magician, probably not like the craziest one to get, but still really beautiful. Now, what do I, how do I feel about this? This is the thing. How do you guys feel about it being basically a Starlight Rare? Because it's a little different. There's the name difference. There's the stamp difference. But like, I know they're printing a Zeus and the Zeus already has a Starlight. I'm not going to lie. I don't love that. I'm not really a huge fan of the card basically look like a previous rarity, especially such a high rarity like Starlight. It'll probably hurt the value of like the Starlight Zeus because you can just get one that looks just like it, but it's not a Starlight. So I don't know. I'm not sure how I feel about it. It's kind of interesting. It's cool like that. It's more like shiny cardboard. I really like the look of Starlight. Some people don't even like the look of them, so they probably won't like this then. But I don't know. I just want to hear you guys opinion. It's definitely interesting. It's definitely interesting that they chose such a similar rarity to Starlight Rare, but I don't know. Let me know. Let me know, guys. Uh, that's why we were doing this opening, we, you know, see the rarity, decide how we feel about it. There's a, I think that's a blue eyes card or maybe I don't remember. We got a mud dragon. We've got a, oh, a fossil dig, another collector rare. How many collector rares? That's three in one box. And then we got this guy earlier as a super. I don't know what that is. Okay. They're, they're giving out a lot of high rarity cards here. This is really cool. Does that mean we're going to get a third ultimate rare as well? That'd be pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. That'd be nice. We have a, that's a, that's a dark magician card too. It's a fusion card. That's a win. Oh, another ulti, a Baron. Ooh, and then an Alpha Baron. That's a crazy card. Yeah, if you don't have your uh, your English Baron, just try, try and play that. Don't, don't. You'll get disqualified from the tournament, but maybe in casual play, you could do it. All right, two packs left. Dude, these boxes are insane. Oh my gosh. I guess the second one we can run through a little bit faster because we kind of have an idea of what to expect, but these are still crazy. Evenly matched. Nice card. We got a uh, Time Thief Redoer, Dogmatic of Punishment, and then the Mud Dragon. Nice cards. And the last pack of the first box. Wow, this is nice. Okay, uh, Pot of... Uh, Oh, extravagance. Okay, we got the Dogmatica Ecclesia Ash Blossom Ultra Rare. Now that would be cool, like an ulti or 25th. That'd be amazing. And then uh what's that guy called? It's like small world. There we go. All right, let's go through the next box. Let's see if we can get an awesome 25th century. Like now that we know that we can get them, let's see if we can get a really nice one like Ash Blossom or something crazy. Here we go. Rarity collection. So far, been a crazy opening. It's been awesome. Don't forget to enter the giveaway because you guys can win all of these packs that I am opening at the moment. Let's shuffle these up a little bit. Actually, now they seem pretty, they were pretty random last time. Let's just do this. Rarity collection, quarter century edition let me know in the comments if you want to see more ocg stuff like this i think it's cool because we get to preview some of the stuff we're going to see in the tcg that's the most fun part about it we've got the oh danger jackalope mud dragon we got nibiru he kind of went off for me yesterday in master duel and we got dogmatica ecclesia speaking of master duel been playing on uh twitch three days a week monday wednesday friday go check it out i'm streaming every monday wednesday friday this entire year yeah, just bank on it, baby. Except when I'm gone, we'll, we'll move the streams to like different days. Avermax, very nice. We have the Oh Danger Jack Love Ultimate Rare and Harvey's Featherstorm Secret Rare. Wow, it's so cool that you can get them all in different rarities. I love that part about it. Just makes it fun. You never know what you're going to get. It's not like, okay, I'm searching for this one Starlight Rare. It's like, you are you could be searching, but you might get like five Starlight Rares of a different card, which would be cool. Okay, Deep Eyes Abyss Dragon, I think is the name, something like that, or Blue Eyes Abyss Dragon. Uh, I don't remember the name. Uh, it's what is this? It's Cyber Angel Benton. There we go. Forbidden Droplet. And then a Winged Dragon of Raw Sphere Mode. Also a crazy card to tribute off a bunch of your opponent's monsters. Give us a nice 25th anniversary card. I believe that we can do it. Come on. Oh, there we go. That one just ripped nicely. These just, they don't really want to open though. We have Rhoda. That'd be a nice one. Egyptian God Slime. We've got the Dingirsu Collector Rare. Beautiful. And then a, I think this is a Blue Eyes. I just, yeah, it's got to be 3,000, 2,500 stats. I just can't remember the name of it. Don't worry. We're going to get a crazy a crazy 25th anniversary card i believe it's gonna be i don't know that card we've got a blackwing samoon i think is what he's called the inspector border and then a fossil dig okay nice cards there come on bless us with something cool shout out to yugi market once again for hooking me up with these boxes it's been really cool you guys can go check them out down below if you want to grab something like this uh we have a ghost bell compulse we have a Lightning Storm Ultra Rare, and then an Ancient Fairy Dragon Secret Rare. Cool. So basically every pack, th there's some packs with nothing in them. They just have like a Secret Rare. That's it. But Secret Rares are guaranteed in every pack, it seems. That is a card. I don't know. We have Reasoning. Is that a different artwork? I don't remember those being there. Maybe, maybe it is. I don't know. Ooh, Ultimate Rare, Rhoda, and then a Secret Rare. This is a, a code card, I think. Uh, you know, the access code and stuff like that. Code Talker. That's that's what the archetype's called. About halfway through this box of the second one. It's been pretty crazy so far. Vision Hero Ferris, that'd be a nice one as well. Ice Dragon's Prison. 
We got a Luna. Wait, 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 wait. Extra Seeker Rare. Dengirsu. That's a pretty nice one. That is super nice. Wow, there's such high rarity cards in here. It's so fun. This is like nonstop action. You just keep pulling fun stuff. It's like shiny cardboard after shiny cardboard. All right, we have a the speed guy. We have the effect veiler. That'd be a nice high rarity. Oh, collector rare Benton. Nice. And then is this magicalized fusion? I think that might be the name. Could be a different one though. I think it's that one. Still no 25th. We're still looking for the 25th rarity. Come on, let's go. Or at least in this one. Let's pull our second 25th rarity. Fossil dig. Oh, what's this guy's name? Galaxy Eye something. Oh, an Intus. Nice ultra rare. And then our evenly matched 25th anniversary rarity. That is a nice one. Evenly matched. That hits for sure. Woo, evenly matched, baby. That is awesome. Wow, that's a nice one too. Okay, I, I like that better than the downer magicians. Like definitely, that's a lot better. Okay, that is amazing. Okay, Artemis, we got Lone Fire Blossom, an Intis ulti, so we got Intis Collector Rare and ulti, and then an Eldritch, that would be huge as well. Wow, we're getting in, oh, Intis might've been an ultra rare before, I can't remember, but dude, we are pulling fire out of here, this is crazy. Summon Limit, we got, okay, Borlot Savage would be good, TTT, and a secret rare of a trap that I don't know. Three packs left in this opening. This has been fun. This has been really fun. OCG has got some fire, and now I'm even more excited for the 25th anniversary. Lava Golem. I'm not sure how I feel about it being secret rares. Oh, nice. Collector rare. I think that's a... Is that a Tri Brigade card? I can't remember. Then the uh, the Blue Eyes Abyss Dragon. Not sure if I love that they're basically Starlights, but at the same time, it's going to be fun to pull shiny cardboard. I'm not, like, completely against it. We'll see. It might grow on me. Maybe, maybe I'll like it a little bit more when it comes up. Uh, here we go. Let me know in the comments how you feel about it. We have Selene. We have the tour guide. We have downered again, and then a reasoning secret rare. And our final pack of Rarity Collection Quarter Century Edition. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I certainly have. Don't forget to check out Yugi Market if you want to buy some stuff like this down below. Then we have a Red Eyes Flare Metal, the Striker Dragon. We have a Ultra Rare Small World and a Secret Rare Ash Blossom. All right, that's a good one. Ash Blossom. I just want to clarify. That's what I was saying. I think I slurred a little bit there. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content just like this. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Daxter, JT Cho, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanda, Dizzy, Hoppus, Choice 333, Micycle, James Jance, TCG Trust of Cards, America Deutzer, Supreme Sage 21, and Anna Tai Show, Ian Musa, Junior Barty, Mimic Gecko, and Thomas McLean. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.